Welcome to Odd Jobs. Uh, we're back, back at Liberty Way Farm, and we're working on some more flooring. So stick around. I remember a little while back, we were putting down this hardwood floor in the barn. Looks pretty good. We got a pile more of the pine over there. We're going to do more subflooring, and we're going to do this little section here. I love the way the light comes through the barn board. That's awesome. For the time being, I'm just going to tack this on with the one nail on both sides, and then we're going to level it up. Okay, so I made, I'm going to make them reasonably flush here, if I can do this. I only put one nail in it somewhere up there. I'm going to bring this side up. make this flush here put another one down uh, mm -hmm. one down here and I'm gonna go along and I'm gonna do all of them the same way
Okay, so once you've drilled through, and uh, then you're going to put a, a rod through. I'm using. Pardon me. Okay, I can get that later. I'm using threaded rod. You could use carriage bolts, um, but carriage bolts, if you're doing a lot of them, will tend to get expensive the, more you, the longer you need. So here I needed a 12 incher. The 12 inch ones were five bucks a piece, and 36 inch threaded rod is about five bucks a piece. So we just do the math, and this ends up being uh, considerably, uh, considerably cheaper. I want this to be able to do three of them. Actually, no, I only have three of So we're going to cut that off here with the grinder. Tighten these up until all of the washer is embedded in the wood. It's up on the beam there. Oh yeah. Right. Hi. I don't know if it'll catch you, but that's Emerson. Emerson runs the place. So we're just going to continue doing this. And I'm going to be putting four of these bolts in in this one beam, and then I'm going to drive. Uh, 12, 16, 20, 24 screws into it as well. Um, the, the, the threaded rod is going to, is going to carry the weight and the screw is going to stop it from shifting. That's the goal. So it's going to carry on. So I got these all in pretty good, um, but I do know that this other beam that's sitting here isn't sitting right. So we're going to jack that one up a bit and see if we can do something about that. Wahaha! Ha. I love it. See right here. We've got oh maybe no, quite a bit. Oh, it's got a real bad twist in it too, so I think uh, you can just bring it up just a hair like that. That would be enough. I'm hoping I've got enough strength in here.
So our first piece is uh, <laughs> how the hell am I going to cut this again? This way, this way, right? I don't even measure the first piece. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to cut it on a 45 angle with my saw. I'm going to cut both ends. Holy cow! No room in here at all! So these ones here, I'm pretty much going to cut piece by piece by piece, drop them in one full solid piece. You see, there's some gaps that we're not too concerned about. Get the nail right here. All right, so here's where we're going to start running into an issue. Right along here against the outside wall, we've got nothing, nothing to nail our floor to, uh, nothing to nail the exterior barn board to. So I'm going to just put a piece of wood in there, a two by whatever I can find, um, from this piece over to that piece, and I'll secure it to make it happen. So we'll measure this at uh, 40 inches. That says 10. And over here is 8. But there is a slope here. But it won't matter. So 40 inches, right? Nope, let me see. Yeah, 40, almost 40 and a half. We're going to cut that piece. going to Ouch. Get this over here. If you're ever doing a nailing job like this. You have to hold this piece of wood. Make sure you hold it well back from where the nail's going to come out. Because that'll go right through you.
pack it there. Now we're going to put it back up here. Then I'm going to tack it this way. Yeah. Tack it that way. Yeah. For the most part, the rest of the wood's going to hold it up. But I think I'm going to put uh, a little block down there as well. Starting to like my nail gun. Yeah, I'm going to go look for some wood to salvage. Just to support some weight. I'm just going to tack that on to there. this way because wood wood is strength wood strength is on the length of the wood not on the width so this is this will bow break compress so if you want it to hold weight put it down this way right like that then you can tack it there tack it there So now I'm pretty happy that's going to hold all the weight that I need to. It's going to give me some solid and go around the other side and I can nail that back on. Right now. Okay, cutouts like this are a lot easier to do than you think. The piece is going to go in here, obviously. But we have to be able to find the center. So, I'm going to put this as if it belongs right there. Is that the way it's going to go? Yeah. So, I can put this side and this side here where they belong. I can mark the center here. And I can draw a line. And then I can make a measurement from the point of this I'm perpendicular to heat to, uh, to the piece in front. And that's coming out at four inches. I'm going to double check that with a tape measure. I can always trust my eyeball. Three and a half inches. So we're going to come down from here three and a half inches. And where these two lines intersect, that's going to be a 90 degree angle here and there. And I'm going to take my, my speed square here and put the 45 there. Flip it around and put the 45 there. You can imagine that's going to go right in there. I'm going to my saw here. Do a couple of quick cuts. A little bit bigger is better than a little bit smaller. That. You can see how crooked it is there, and here, yeah, it's pretty crooked. So now we can just keep nibbling at it until we get, get a pretty decent fit.
And then you're going to get to the point where it fits right in like so. Okay. Once we have it down there, we can nail it down. And we're going to call this done. If you got something out of this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. And also, give our friends at Liberty Way Farm a, uh, a visit. Uh, links down in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.